Today, I'm going to delve deeper into the concept of the protective state and how it impacts our ability to attract abundance into our lives. You see, the majority of us spend our waking hours in this state without even realizing it. It's like living inside a protective bubble, always on high alert for potential threats. In this state, our nervous system is in a constant state of arousal, scanning the environment for any signs of danger. This survival mode is deeply ingrained in our subconscious minds, stemming from our evolutionary past, when our ancestors had to constantly be on guard for predators. While this protective state may have served us well in ancient times, in today's world, it often works against us. Instead of focusing on opportunities and abundance, we're preoccupied with avoiding risks and staying safe. So how does this relate to attracting money and abundance? Well, when we're stuck in the protective state, we're operating from a place of fear and scarcity. We're constantly worried about not having enough, which only serves to reinforce those negative beliefs and attract more scarcity into our lives. But there's good news. We have the power to shift out of this protective state and into a state of openness and abundance. It all starts with awareness and intentionality. By recognizing when we're operating from a place of fear and consciously choosing to shift our mindset, we can begin to open ourselves up to the abundance that surrounds us. Now let's talk about the heart. Beyond its physical function of pumping blood throughout the body, the heart holds immense power when it comes to our emotional and spiritual well-being. When we talk about heart opening, we're not just talking about a warm, fuzzy feeling. We're talking about a profound shift in consciousness that opens us up to the infinite possibilities of the universe. You see, the heart is more than just a muscle. It's an energetic center that connects us to the field of infinite potentiality. When we open our hearts, we tap into this field and align ourselves with the frequency of abundance and prosperity. But how do we open our hearts? It starts with letting go of fear and embracing love and gratitude. When we operate from a place of love, we dissolve the barriers that keep us stuck in the protective state. We become more open to receiving the abundance that the universe has to offer. So how do we cultivate this state of heart opening? Through practices like meditation, visualization, and acts of kindness and compassion. By regularly engaging in these practices, we can train our minds and bodies to operate from a place of love and abundance. One of the most remarkable aspects of heart opening is its profound healing potential. When we open our hearts and release fear and resistance, we create space for healing to occur on a physical, emotional, and spiritual level. I've witnessed countless individuals experience miraculous healing simply by opening their hearts and aligning themselves with the frequency of love and gratitude. From chronic health conditions like heart disease and cancer to deep-seated emotional traumas, the power of heart opening knows no bounds. But how does it work? It all comes down to the mind-body connection. When we operate from a place of fear and stress, our bodies are flooded with cortisol and other stress hormones that can wreak havoc on our health. But when we shift into a state of love and gratitude, our bodies produce healing chemicals and hormones that promote health and well-being. So how can you harness the healing power of heart opening in your own life? It starts with a willingness to let go of fear and resistance and embrace love and gratitude. Through practices like meditation, visualization, and acts of kindness, you can begin to open your heart and invite healing into your life. Vulnerability is often misunderstood in our society, especially when it comes to men. But research shows that vulnerability is one of the key qualities of great leaders. When we allow ourselves to be vulnerable, when we open up and connect with others, we create space for abundance to flow into our lives. But why is vulnerability so important? It all comes down to authenticity and connection. When we're willing to show our true selves, flaws and all, we create deeper connections with others and foster a sense of trust and authenticity. So, how can you cultivate vulnerability in your own life? It starts with a willingness to let go of the masks we wear and show up as our authentic selves. This means being willing to share our fears, insecurities, and struggles with others, knowing that vulnerability is not a sign of weakness, but a strength. By embracing vulnerability and opening ourselves up to the world, we create space for abundance to flow into our lives. In the next segment, I'll share with you a powerful meditation practice to help you attract abundance in just 10 minutes. 
Our beliefs shape our reality more than we often realize. From a young age, we internalize beliefs about money, success, and abundance that can either empower us or hold us back. These limiting beliefs act as invisible chains, keeping us stuck in patterns of scarcity and lack. But here's the good news. We have the power to break free from these limiting beliefs and create new, empowering beliefs that support our goals and aspirations. It all starts with awareness. By becoming aware of the limiting beliefs that are holding us back, we can begin to challenge and reframe them. One powerful tool for overcoming limiting beliefs is the practice of meditation and visualization. Through guided meditation, we can access the subconscious mind and reprogram it with new, empowering beliefs. By visualizing ourselves as abundant and successful, we begin to shift our internal reality and align ourselves with the frequency of abundance. But it's not just about visualization. It's also about taking action. By stepping outside of our comfort zones and taking small, consistent steps towards our goals, we begin to reinforce the new beliefs and behaviors that support abundance. We are all connected by a field of energy that permeates the universe. This field, often referred to as collective consciousness, is the sum total of all thoughts, beliefs, and intentions of every individual on the planet. Collective consciousness is not just a passive force, it's a dynamic, ever-changing field that we all contribute to. When we operate from a place of love, gratitude, and abundance, we not only raise our own vibration, but also contribute to the elevation of collective consciousness as a whole. So how can we leverage the power of collective consciousness to manifest abundance in our own lives? It starts with intentionality. By setting clear intentions and aligning ourselves with the frequency of abundance, we begin to influence the collective consciousness in a positive way. But it's not just about individual intentions, it's also about collective action. When we come together as a community and support each other in our goals and aspirations, we amplify the power of our intentions and create a ripple effect of abundance that spreads far and wide. Now let's put everything we've learned into practice with a powerful 10-minute abundance meditation. Find a quiet place where you won't be disturbed and let's begin. Close your eyes and take a few deep breaths, allowing yourself to relax and center yourself in the present moment. Now I want you to bring your attention to your heart center, the energetic center of love and gratitude. Imagine a warm golden light radiating from your heart center expanding with each breath you take. Feel this light filling your entire body, washing away any tension or resistance you may be holding on to. Now I want you to visualize yourself surrounded by abundance in all areas of your life. See yourself living in a beautiful, abundant home surrounded by loving relationships and fulfilling work. Feel the joy and gratitude that comes with knowing that you have everything you need and more. As you continue to visualize abundance flowing into your life, I want you to set a clear intention for what you want to manifest. Whether it's financial wealth, career success, or personal fulfillment, be specific about what you desire and believe that it is already yours.